everyone! So today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection and storage video. I love watching these videos. I love getting different kind of storage techniques from people and such because I'm kind of a nut when it comes to organizing. I love to organize. So I just thought I would share with you my collection. Um, again, typical disclaimer that everybody kind of throws in there. I'm not bragging by any means. I just really enjoy watching these, so I just want to share my stuff with everybody. So I will kind of stop rambling and get into it. I just wanted to say as well that uh, this kind of makeup storage is kind of more geared towards people that don't necessarily have a completely dedicated kind of dresser or storage solely for makeup. I kind of incorporate my makeup into a dresser which I have a bunch of other stuff in. So let's hop right in. Alrighty, so this is the dresser that my makeup is in. Now before people start flipping out, not all of this is filled with makeup. Only a few of the drawers have my makeup in. Then. So I'm going to kind of show you three components of um, my makeup. This dresser, by the way, is from Ikea, and it is part of the Hemnies collection, and it is a really large dresser, which I need because I have a lot of crap to store. And um, also, I wanted to mention that my dad reinforced the bottom of the drawers on this dresser, um, so just kind of buyer beware about that because I do have some heavy items in the dresser that I will be showing you, so I just wanted to mention that these drawers were reinforced uh, by my dad. So yeah, so there's three components that I'm just going to quickly go through. The first is this small drawer here. The second is this largest drawer here. And then the, the last and my favorite is this next drawer down here and it is this lovely thing. Okay, so starting with this small drawer here. This is where I keep my eyeshadow palettes as well as my lip balms. So this little um, container is from Ikea, it came in a set of three. And I just have some EOS lip balms, a Balmania, some Body Shop uh, lip butters and my lip sill. So those are there. And then I also keep all my Revlon lip butters in here because frankly I just love them and I'm always reaching for them as well as a couple Burt's Bees tinted lip balms. And some Vaseline, some eyelash curlers, a sharpener, etc. Then I have my eyeshadow palettes. So I have, this is really great, this is um, by e.l.f. and it's a quad and it's only a dollar and it comes with a mirror and it fits um, MAC eyeshadows. So considering, I think the MAC quads are like around $10 I believe and um, so yeah, you can get this for a dollar at Target and it also comes with a mirror which is really great because the MAC ones don't. And so yeah, so I have a few MAC shadows in there. Then I have an e.l.f. palette, uh, my Inglot palette, a Naked palette, a MAC, uh, bigger palette back in there, which is empty at the moment actually. And then I kind I have my DIY um, palettes, which I talked about in a favorites video a while ago. So they're gift card tints, um, which I covered with fabric, and then you can put shadows in them. So this um, in here is the Too Faced Natural Eyeshadow Palette which is this guy here. So really kind of thick and bulky. And as you can see, whoa, I'm making a mess here. Um, the eyeshadow would just pop right out of the cardboard there. So, and it fits really nicely in this thin little gift card tin. And if you, and it's magnetic as well. So I just have that in there with magnets. And then I also have another like DIY palette, which is a couple Mark Avon uh, things, which would just mag magnetize themselves in there. That is where I keep most of my um, eyeshadows. So that's this first drawer. Next, moving on to this biggest um, drawer here, which is very deep. I keep hair and uh, makeup stuff in here. I'm not going to go through the hair stuff because I don't want to bore everybody. Uh, so I guess I'll start off. This is where my brushes are. Since this drawer is so deep, I'm able to store my brushes in here. I know a lot of people have them on their dressers, but I kind of like mine to be kind of hidden away. So I have it in this kind of uh, pencil organizer. You can find these all over the place. I got this a long time ago from HomeSense, so I don't think you'll be able to find it anymore. But it has a lot of different kind of sections here, and I've put rice in there to have my brushes standing upright. So I'm, I'm really pleased with how this works, because it keeps all the brushes kind of uh, 
upright and not rubbing against one another. I had them in my brushes in a kind of storage thing like this, but I found these are brushes I don't use very often, but I found that um, the bristles were starting to rub against each other and I found that was actually really starting to kind of cause some fraying and stuff so I wanted them to kind of be upright and um, not rubbing against each other so I've used rice for that and I'm really really pleased with how that's turned out and since this drawer is so deep I'll just put that back in there I have a, another uh, one of these little containers from Ikea which just have lip glosses that I don't really use and then I'll move this hair bin out the way. And then I have these two bins back here, which have kind of extra. So if like lip balm is on sale and I'm like stocking up on that or extra mascara if it's on sale, I keep it sealed until I need to use it. And then in here I just have some makeup that I don't use very often. So some, some mascaras and some extra uh, concealer for um, the summertime when I'm darker and stuff, uh, tanned. So yeah. And then I have some back to Mac stuff that I need to take back and some hair stuff, a package of rice for when I was doing my um, brush holder. And then in here I just have uh, some Mac Fix Plus, some brush cleaners, dry shampoo and such. And then a little mirror in there. So yeah, since this drawer is so deep, it's really kind of great uh, for uh, stacking bins and such. So the last and my favorite part of my collection is in this drawer down here. And this is where the bulk of my makeup lives. So this organizer is from Ikea and it's just a, an acrylic um, organizer. So I'm going to take this out of the drawer now and show you guys what's in it. Alrighty, so this is the um, little unit that I use. Like I said, from Ikea, I believe it's sort of like around 20 or $30, which is pretty good because acrylic is normally quite expensive on eBay. And I'm just absolutely thrilled with kind of the organizational components this has to offer. So it has this kind of um, area with little divided sections here and this is removable and it also comes up with another compartment underneath here. And then it comes with uh, like a lip gloss organizer and there are little kind of square dividers that came with this that are kind of built in. So that's how these are kind of standing upright. And those dividers are also removable so if you want to put larger stuff in here um, instead you're able to take out those kind of divider components. If you can kind of see them in there. It's kind of hard to see but if you can see that kind of in there. And then the next uh, part is these two sections here which also have are divided with the thing and this part this part doesn't come out so you're left with these two kind of sections like so. So I guess I will get started with this side here. This is where I keep all of my mascaras and um, pencils of sorts. So I have Physician's Formula, Revlon, uh, MAC one. I have my Revlon Customize, which is my favorite, whoopsies, which is my favorite at the moment, if I can find the name of it for you. There we go. So I'm, I, this, I love this. I use this every day. And then I have my Clinique Bottom Lash and some mini samples of uh, Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which I got from Sephora Points thing. Next, I have all my pencils in here and some liquid eyeliner. So I have MAC Teddy, which I love. I have a my favorite liquid liner, the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in there. A lip pencil. Um, some Revlon eyeliners and a mini Makeup Forever uh, pencil, which again was a Sephora Points thing. I'm really impressed with this. I used this the other day and I was quite pleased with how smooth it went on. So that, those are kind of all sitting upright in there, which is really nice. And then I have my more face products. I have a Visage Foundation, which I never use. I really should throw it out. I have my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, uh, Laura Mercier Primer, which I'm really disappointed in, and my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. So those kind of nicely tuck away in there. So then opening this part up, I have um, another Makeup Forever sample from Sephora. A translucent powder. I have an e.l.f. bronzer in there. My Laura Mercier secret concealer. I have a Tarte highlight, which came in the um, that four pack they had going around the holiday time. I have another uh, Carol Baker Visage uh, powder. My Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural, which I'm absolutely loving. 
sorry, not in natural, but MAC Manoir Skin Finish Natural, and I am in the shade Light Plus. I have a Carol Baker Visage Concealer, Benefit Hula Bronzer, and then I have a couple Bare Minerals um, samples as well from Sephora Points, uh, which I've yet to use. So those kind of tuck away in there. Next, moving on to these sections here, this is where I keep my blushes. So I have um, two MAC blushes. I have Spring Sheen and then a Cream Blush and Lady Blush. Then I have three more of the Tarte blushes that came from that four pack around the holidays. A couple of massage blushes, a Wet n Wild blush standing up here, an NYC blush back in there. And then I have four e.l.f. blushes. Now, since I have a um, more than a couple, it's hard to remember which is which. So what I did was is that I just got a gold Sharpie, and I wrote on the side of the packaging the name of the blush. These only are a couple dollars, so writing on the packaging really isn't that big of a deal. And these are just standing up on their side like so. So that way I'm able to see which shade is which. Next, this next section here has um, mostly eye products. I have a gel liner from Visage. I have a MAC Brow Gel, a Revlon Cream Eyeshadows. I have a couple of my primers in here, a Hard Candy Shadow Duo, um, a Dior Cream Shadow down in there, and a little $1 e.l.f. eyeshadow quad. And I have a couple of the Wet n Wild uh, trios, which are amazing. And then I have two of the Revlon quads kind of tucked away in there. Now, lastly, my um, lip glosses and lipsticks. So I've kind of arranged them sort of by brand. I have the Revlon Kissable Bomb Stains, which I adore. I have a few uh, MAC lip glasses, uh, some NARS glosses, which came in a holiday pack. Um, these are really crappy. I don't recommend NARS glosses, to be honest. I have a couple of Sephora glosses, a Revlon gloss, some more mini samples, which came from Sephora. I have a little mini Makeup Forever gloss in there and a um, Benefit one. I have some Visage glosses, a bunch of Stila glosses, which came in a holiday set, which are amazing. I love them. A Dior gloss, which really is nothing special. A couple of MAC lipsticks and a Benefit lipstick, a CoverGirl um, in Hot, which is what Taylor Swift says that she uses the most. Focus camera. There we go. Um, normally, I would never buy CoverGirl because they test on animals, but I kind of cave when I found out that this is the lipstick that she uses the most, so I really need to give that a try. And then a few uh, Revlon lipsticks, which are great because you can see... Um, the names of them upright, unlike the MAC ones, which kind of teeter a bit because uh, of the pointy tops. So that kind of wraps this up. I hope I'm not boring everybody here. So that is this lovely little arrangement. So this kind of gives you a bit of an idea of how deep it is. And yeah, so that nicely fits in my drawer. Also, one last tip here. Um, if you have a dresser with really, really shallow drawers, what I used to do before my makeup collection started accumulating, I used these kind of shallow organizers here from places like um, Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get these, and these are also really great for kind of storing makeup and stuff if you have a really shallow drawer that you want to make use of. So that concludes my makeup collection and storage video. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and I will link all the IKEA storage stuff that I mentioned down below uh, for you guys if I can still find it. And that concludes everything, I guess. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.